I hated you. Do I know you? When I was a kid, I was a Rough Rider fan. I didn't want to be, but in Saskatchewan, it's the law. At least, that's what my father told me. The Eskimos used to destroy my riders. Game after game, season after season, the Eskies would come to Regina and break my heart. That guy right there, that's Dave Cutler. Now some of you young people might be going, who's Dave Cutler, man? Dave Cutler is a football legend. He was the place kicker for the Edmonton Eskimos for 16 seasons. Dave was part of that monster dynasty that owned the CFL in the 70s and early 80s. No other team ever dominated the league like the Edmonton Eskimos. Dave won six great cups, five of them in a row. He still holds the CFL record for the third longest field goal, 59 yards. Western All-Star, All-Canadian, and in 1998 inducted into the Canadian Football Hall of Fame. When Dave retired in 1984, he held almost every kicking record, but not just in the CFL, in all of professional football. But I don't live in Regina anymore. I live here in Victoria. And you know who else lives in Victoria now? I needed to let go of my childhood anger and disappointment. So I asked Dave if we could talk it out. I was shocked to learn that he's originally from Saskatchewan, a small town called Bigger. I am from Saskatchewan. Louis Riel was in my kindergarten class. <laughs> a long time ago, man. When Dave was five, his family moved to Victoria so his dad could join the Navy. Dave attended Simon Fraser University, got a teaching degree, and played linebacker. He had never even tried a field goal until one day at the gym, fate kicked his life in a new direction. I started doing squats and one day I just got bored and in the corner of the weight room there was a ball and a tee and I kicked a little bit in rugby and so I took this ball and the tee out onto the field and one of our coaches came out and said no no do this and I swear the first one I ever really kicked was 50 yards and it went <laughs> and Dave's career blasted off too he was considered to be too small to be a professional linebacker but he signed with the Eskimos in 1969 as their place kicker a job he would own for the next 16 seasons an incredible accomplishment that came with incredible pressure pressure is the most selfish emotion you can feel your fear it's your fear of your failure and so everybody on our team had situations like that in the game and sometimes it came down to me but I was thinking just like they were as they thought like I did. It was not for me, it's for the other guys so get it done. After football, Dave taught school in Edmonton and worked in the local media. In 1995, he and his wife and kids moved to Victoria to be closer to family. Today he works in radio, doing sales and marketing for The Q and The Zone. I love meeting people and I love solving problems and uh, I just love putting things together, and this sounds really, really simplistic, but I like to put things together that work. And uh, it doesn't matter whether you know, I'm fooling around in the garden, or, which happens very little, by the way, or um, I'm fooling around you know, just putting marketing plans together. It's just it's something I enjoy. I enjoy puzzles. As much as he loves Victoria, Dave still misses Edmonton. A great town, though. Absolutely phenomenal town. It's, it was a pr small prairie town with a million people. In Victoria for Shaw TV, I'm Dan Kahn. And this guy right here, kind of like him now.